As I said when I started doing these stories, these are a series of stories that are about my childhood and that I heard in my childhood. Uh, this one is much less serious than the first one. I hope you enjoy this. Terry Tillman, if you happen to watch this, you mentioned having done this at one time. I don't put it past you, Terry. The name of this is How to Catch Four Thieves, Wreck a Car, and Lose a Bobcat. During the summer of 1949, I heard the following story repeated at least ten times. One of the favorite pastimes of people in northeast Texas is to take their coon hounds out for a hunt. This generally consists of five or six people going out into the backwoods, setting up a camp, and letting the coon dogs run. Most of the time is spent sitting around a campfire eating and drinking. This area of northeast Texas I'm from is famous for moonshine whiskey. Some of what is drunk around the campfire is that moonshine. So sometimes stories get embellished. The following story was told for the truth. Just as everyone was packing up to leave after a successful hunt, the coon dogs cornered a bobcat. The bobcat was knocked out of the tree with a well-placed 22 shot to the head. The coon dogs had chased the bobcat into an area that was used by the community as a trash dump. Since he was a long way from his car and he didn't want the dogs to destroy the prize pelt, he took an old suitcase that had been discarded along with the trash and placed the bobcat inside that suitcase and proceeded to carry it down the rural highway back to his car. The day was hot, the distance was far, and he soon became fatigued. It was then he decided to set the suitcase beside the side of the road and go get the car. He had gotten approximately 75 yards away from the suitcase when a car came by with four young thugs inside. Seeing the man was too far away to stop them, they stopped the car. One of them ran out and grabbed the suitcase and threw it inside the car. He started yelling and running after them, but they were too quickly back into the car. With a loud roar, the car started accelerating, throwing gravel and rocks back into the direction of our hunter. While the successful thieves hooped and hollered and made obscene gestures. Gathering speed rapidly, they approached a one-way bridge over Horse Creek. Horse Creek is about 12 feet deep, usually has about 2 foot of water, and is a local boundary for several local farms. Suddenly, every door but the driver's side opened, and while the car was accelerating, three of the four thugs exited the high-speed vehicle rapidly. The car continued to accelerate for a few more seconds and the driver's side door also opened and the driver exited the rapidly moving car. You see the shot had not killed the bobcat but merely stunned it. By the time the suitcase was thrown into the car the bobcat had regained consciousness and was rather irate. After all there he was minding his own business when a bunch of dogs got after him and ran him up a tree. After succeeding in getting away from the dogs, here comes a man who has the audacity to shoot him. He then wakes up in a very confined, hot, stuffy place. To top it off, someone then picks him up and starts throwing him around. When the suitcase was opened by our successfully thieving thugs, he found himself inside a vehicle with a number of juicy targets handy. An adult bobcat can weigh upward of 40 to 45 pounds. Combine this with all those teeth and claws and then mistreat him as he had been. You have yourself what is known as a touchy situation. Just before the bridge the road turns. However, without a driver, that car continued straight, missed the bridge, and sailed off into junkyard heaven. The young men survived, but each of them spent some time in the hospital gathering a number of stitches and spent some time in the county jail. In my later years, I drove over that bridge a number of times. 
There is evidence that at least one car has gone off that bridge. Whether it was the car in question or not, I do not know, but I'd like to think that it was. By all accounts, the bobcat survived everything and was last seen disappearing into the woods. And I would like to think he was laughing all the way.